one star for this solar light and four stars for this gray one from the perspective of a quantity inspector. Hello, this is Hank. I am a third party quantity inspector and here is my lab in Shenzhen, China. In my last video, I have showed you why I only give one star uh, by reviewing this light. And now I'm going to compare both of them and let you know why I gave four stars to this light. Number one, this gray one is more brighter than this black one. But this is not the most important. The more important is this one can really offer a correct light distribution huh? as a street light. Here, to let you understand easily, I prepared a small model. You can see here is the road and uh, one, two, three street lights. If now we use the uh, bad light distribution as the uh, black one, the shape of the light is like, like this one and the root. So within the cycle, the brightness, the lux is okay. But outside of the cycle, it's black. So here, between it, it's black, black. Now, if we change to the correct light, to the gray one, its shape is like this. So, we can say almost on uh, most parts of this suit, there is, the lux is more uniform. So, no black point here. It's more safe for driving. Number two, honest and respect. This black one is just to tell me it's 800 watt, which is impossible. I don't believe it. But for this gray one, on its label, we can find its total output lumen, the type of its solar panel, and the capacity of the battery. These are all very important information for a solar light. But anyway, it's, if it can tell us how many hours it can work based on a, a full output lumen, that is much better. I know this can be calculated based on its capacity and its uh, uh, voltage and current. But how? It's too hard for the end user. Number three, IP rating, waterproof ability. Now in my last video, I have shared you why this black light is very poor waterproof ability. No rubber, no glue, and uh, here also a very cheap manufacturing process. But for, for this gray one, we can see the solar panel between it and the housing, all with glue. And in the front side, the PC lens between it and the housing, there is also silicon material to do the thinning to prevent water goes inside. And the third point here, many holes. It's also very helpful for the waterproof to let the hot air goes to outside and help the outside cold air to go inside to balance the inside air pressure. Anyway, I still think this is not perfect. You know the holes are here. So when we installation, the light is like, like this, like installation. Uh, if some high humidity else goes inside this area, it cannot go out. It's just stay here, harder to go out because the holes are here only. So it's better to have holes here and also some holes here. And another point is, this holes, they should do more careful to prevent the small insect to go inside. Number four, CCT, color temperature. 
This one, its color temperature is around 6300K. This is within the, you know, the normal specification for outdoor lights. But this one, it's more than 9000. When we turn them on together and project the lights on the wall, we can see the cheap one looks blue and this one looks warmer. This is more friendly to the people's eye. Number five, safety, safer. This gray one is poor, is two times heavier than this black one. And the more important is the black one is only used a very small screw to fix the power and the light. While for the gray one, four big bolts. So now let's compare the two lights. If it's in the window area, which one will you feel safer? The last advantage, feeling. Of course, this gray one gives the end user a feeling of high end. Well, this black one, I feel it's very cheap. I think the biggest reason is the black one, its housing material is plastic. Yeah, it's very light. So I feel very cheap. But this one, its housing material is made by metal and its surface treatment, I feel very good. Uh, it's definitely anti-corrosion. The solar panel, currently they use the polycrystalline silicon. Its efficiency is a little bit lower than the monocrystalline uh, silicon. So if it can change to the better one, I can give it a higher score. Okay, that's all the review for this solar street light. Based on the rules of all the social media, please press the uh, like button or give us any comments because this will help us to get more audience and encourage us to make more similar videos.